Good morning, everyone. My name is Pasla Suresh from Katuri Medical College. Uh, my e paper is regarding spectrum of involvement of hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy in children and adults. Okay, introduction hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy in adults and older children, also known as global hypoxic ischemic injury, is seen in many settings and often has a devastating neurological sequel. Hypoxic ischemic cerebral injury occurs at any age. All the etiology is significantly different. Older older children most commonly due to drowning and asphyxiation, and adults uh, often results at result of cardiac arrest or cerebral vascular disease with the secondary hypoxemia or hypoperfusion. The aims and objectives of this study is to demonstrate MRI findings uh, and establish the difference in the patterns of HIE in term, preterm, and adult population. Okay, materials and methods. Seven patients presenting with features of HIE of different age groups were studied using 1.5 TES MRI. High resolution T1, T2 weighted serial sections were obtained in axial and sagittal pains. Uh, diffusion weighted images and continuous fast player images were also obtained in coronal planes. Uh, the results of the study is, uh, is to uh, the MR imaging findings of HIE in the subjects of varying age groups and severity were evaluated. In preterm in units, the common findings include bilateral symmetrical periventricular gliosis and even external outlines of ventricle and thinning of white matter. In term units, acute and severe hypoxia results in damage to grave matter, especially in basal ganglia and thalamus. Extensive multicystic multicystic involvement of white matter, quite often accompanied by necrotic cavities, is typical for prolonged and severe hypoxia. In adults, involvement of grey matter, hippocampus, cerebellum is noted. Watershed influx is also noted in mild to severe asphyxia. Uh, T2 axial and flare axial and coronal um, coronal flare images showing confluent hyper intensity involving bilateral periventricular deep white matter on T2 and flare images with white matter volume loss and dysmorphic shape of lateral ventricles such as periventricular leukomalacia and T2 sagittal and flare axial and coronal images showing uh, hyper intensity series in bilateral periventricular white matter with loss of white matter volume and associated thinning of body of corpus callosum in, uh, seen in the sagittal section such as uh, changes of periventricular leukomalacia. Mm. Flare, <clears throat> flare at the level of uh, ventricles and uh, capsulo-ganglionic region and dis um, diffusion weighted imaging at the level of capsulo-ganglionic uh, capsulo region and corresponding ADC maps show hyperintensity signal signals involving bilateral insular cortex bilateral insular cortex okay bilateral uh, thalamoganglionic regions which appears bright on dwi and dark on adc showing diffusion restriction uh, discussion mr findings of hie in subjects of varying age group and severity were evaluated in preterm units the common findings include bilateral symmetrical periventricular gliosis and even external outlines of ventricle and thinning of white matter in term units acute and severe hypoxia results in damage to white matter especially in basal ganglia and thalamus Extensive multicystic involvement of white matter, quite often accompanied by necrotic cavities, is typical for a prolonged and severe hypoxia. In adults, involvement of grey matter, hippocampus, and cerebellum is noted. Watershed infects is also noted in mild to severe asphyxia cases. Conclusions: uh, Conclusion: In HIE reflects delayed cascade of events in response to oxygen deprivation in brain. The MR findings of HIE is highly variable and depends upon various factors, including brain maturity at the time of insult and severity. Thank you.